Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I decided to do a what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. And it seems like a lot of my talking videos are going to be on the floor for the time being, just because I don't have a designated filming area. And I kind of liked how this setup was, I guess, this corner where there's just natural sunlight coming in. And then I have just walls and natural things in the back. Okay, anyway, this is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It looks pretty beat up. I have had this for almost two years now, which really is not not that long so i'm kind of disappointed that the back of the phone is literally cracked and shattered look at this can you see all the cracks in my phone i don't know if i mentioned in another video about how i dropped my phone in the bathroom at the mall but pretty much what happened was i had this sitting on one of the toilet paper folder thingies and i guess it wasn't level because it slipped off and it landed on the ground right on one of these buttons i think the source was this button so it landed right on this button and so my case is really dirty right now because i literally literally can only wipe the outside because I'm afraid that if I take the case off, all of the pieces are going to just fall off. And I actually have taken the case off before because I had to get a new SIM card and that's the only time I've ever cleaned the inside of it. So yeah, right now I literally can only clean the outside and it's pretty disgusting. Yeah, but that's her. Look at this. The pieces are literally coming out. You can see the actual back of the phone without the glass back. Alrighty, let's start the phone tour. Oh wait, hold on. Let's turn it off first. Okay, so this is my lock screen. I just have square at the time the date and then when I unlock it I'll just have like the basic home screen and what I like to do is leave everything on one page and so I'm gonna go through all the apps that I have so on the bottom row I just have the phone my reminders my gmail and my yahoo mail I use a gmail and a yahoo mail and then if we start from the top on the top left I have my messages app my facetime photos and camera calendar contacts maps and app store and I just keep those up top because that's just how I've always had it. I think that was the default setting of my very first iPhone a couple years back. And so now that I'm used to it, I just keep it that way for all of the phones I ever get in the future. So today is November 1st that I'm filming it. As you can see, let's go back. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. Don't stop recording. <laughs> okay, and then if we go to the third row, I have, oh man, I need to like change my titles. So if you saw some of my titles were blurred out, it says I did not have a good word there. So right now I'm going to change it. Here we go. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Yeah. Alrighty, back to the tour of my phone. So on the third row, I have my loosen up tab and this is pretty much where I have all music related things. So I used to use Pandora because that's all I knew about. And then I, for some reason I thought Spotify, like to use Spotify, you had to pay for a subscription, but then I downloaded it and obviously you don't have to pay for a subscription. And so I did for a time use it free with ad, but then now I have been added to Jamie's plan. And so I share the premium with him and his family. Then we go to the next tab. I have my nerdy nougat. This is just all of the pre-installed apps that were on my phone, except for Canva, which I use to edit my thumbnails. I expand drive. So whenever I film, I film on my phone and then I have to transfer my videos from my phone to a flash drive. And then I use that flash drive to go into my laptop. And then I have to transfer my videos from the flash drive into a folder onto my laptop. And then I have to transfer those videos into my editing software. It's a whole process. So there are some downsides to filming on my phone, but that's just what I've been doing for the past two years of me filming videos and, it, and it's been working. So that's what I'm doing. And then I also have Epidemic Sound. I don't know why I have that downloaded here because I never use it on my phone. So I'm going to delete that. And then I use the app Epic. And this is the app where I cut myself out for my thumbnails. So this is gonna be a photo for an upcoming video. I don't think I'm gonna cut myself out though for my thumbnail, but I'll show you how I do it. So I just click on it and then I go to tools, cut out, and then I have to zoom in and like outline whatever I want to keep. Yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna take. Ugh. Okay, this is gonna be really bad just because I'm rushing, okay? So just just bear with me. It's gonna it's gonna be fine. This is not what I'm actually gonna use. Whenever I actually do this for real, I super zoom in and I get like all the creases of my outline. But obviously right now, since I'm just showing you how it works, I'm just gonna go really fast. Okay. Definitely don't want to curve it because then it will show that little extra thing. So you want to go this way. If you want to curve it, it'll like get the stuff in the middle, but I only use that to save time. And right now I guess would be a good time to save time. Let's see, to zoom in and out, use two fingers like this, two fingers. And then if you want to color, only use one finger. I don't know why I'm like trying to color. Okay. Just take all of me. Bye. 
I think that should be good enough. You'll get the idea if I just do that, right? Yeah, okay, so check, check mark it. And then that's what it looks like. I am cut out, yay. And then obviously if I had done better, I could have gotten rid of like all those side pieces of me. Yeah, okay, so that's that app. And then I downloaded Google Translate because whenever I went to Europe last year in December, literally we could not figure out what anything meant, obviously because it's a foreign language and we're in Europe. So we use Google Translate where we show the camera. How did we do this? I don't remember the camera. And then we kind of just like put our phone over the menu words and then it would translate for us and obviously i don't have anything for you right now actually can we do it on my watch is it gonna know did it work i don't know okay well anyway that's what how it works and so normally whenever the words show up on the screen like foreign words then google translate would just automatically transfer it on that screen while we're like looking at it with our phone okay next is settings and then my period tracker and then this is my foods folder and so this is where i have all of my food rewards that i've ever signed up for so anytime i go out to eat with jamie i'm always the one giving them my email my phone number just because it's easier for me to keep track of everything what the heck? Pop Nemo's and Papa John's. I don't remember deleting those. Whatever. Okay. So I have Witch Wish, Papa John's, Krispy Kreme, Panera Bread, Domino's, Moe's, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Yelp. I use Yelp mainly to look at reviews of restaurants, obviously, because Jamie and I like to try a lot of new restaurants and foods. And so we go on Yelp to see what other people have said and what what places to go to, I guess. Yeah. I said BJ's, Open Table. I use Open Table to book reservations at like steakhouses and stuff whenever we travel. Whenever I booked a reservation for, I think it was like Kobe Korean barbecue and steak, no hibachi, Kobe hibachi, something like that. Whenever I was down in Orlando, I booked it through Open Table. And then Pyology, Chicken Salad Chick, Buffalo Wild Wings, TJ Fridays, Nukes Eatery, Red Robin, Coffee Guy, Texas Roadhouse, Panda Express, Auntie Anne's, Olive Garden, Chipotle, and Resi. Oh, Resi's a new one. I just had to book a Korean barbecue restaurant with Resi. That one's new. And those are all my food apps. The next over is going to be my Don't Be a Loner folder. And this is where most of my social media apps are and my payments. So um, I'm gonna have to blur that out. So if you don't see it, it's blurred. Yeah. And pretty much literally the only thing in the, I don't know why I call it don't be a loner because it's all my like my banking and my credit cards. The only thing in there that's not money related is Discord, Facebook Messenger, and some UWF apps, which I could definitely delete since I'm not a student at UWF anymore. Then the next folder over is my smart stuff. This is where I have Quizlet, Docs, Drive, Google Photos, and Slides. Sheets, WebEx Meet, Cam Scanner, Zoom, Kahoot, TouchNet One, Microsoft, Elite, Bibli U, and Nearpod. Let's delete Nearpod. I use that for literally like one semester. Delete Bibli U. I don't remember why I had that one. I think it was to like read a textbook or something. Definitely don't use Microsoft 365. Let's delete that. Zoom. I might need Zooms. Cam Scanner is actually very, very useful. I turn a lot of my papers into PDFs with Cam Scanner, so I'm gonna keep that. Kahoot. I don't know why I'd ever need Kahoot because I've only ever used it for school, but now that I'm out of school, I might not need it. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it just in case. All these apps, I'm gonna definitely not gonna need Quizlet anymore because I don't need to study for anything. Um, I think that's it. Why are they all on two different screens? Should I combine them? Let's move them over. Mm, let's put this, let's put cam scanner because the colors actually match better. There we go, that works. Okay, so that is smart stuff folder. Next is the nosy folder. And this is where I have my wise cameras at my dad's house, Life360, where I can track my mom, my brothers, and Jamie. Those are the only four people, four? Yeah, yeah, those are the only four people that I track on Life360 and they all have access to me, obviously. And then Genie, I use Genie to deal with my, my smart bulb and my lamp. Same with Amazon Alexa. I actually attached my smart bulb to Alexa. So Genie was to set up the bulb. Amazon Alexa was to actually control the bulb with my Amazon Echo. And then Google Home, I actually do like, I have a Google Hub thingy. I don't know what it's called. And then Gobi Home. Actually, I don't know why I have Gobi Home. Genie and Gobi Home are both apps that I use to set up smart bulbs. So maybe I had two different smart bulbs, but now I'm only using one. So I don't know where the other one is. And that is nosy. This is my no splurging folder where I have Amazon, Walmart, Rakuten. I need to delete that. I don't even know what that is. Why do I have all these apps on here that I don't use? I bought a, I would scan my Walmart receipts to get like five cents out of a receipt, but then it like didn't even do anything. Slick deals, I'm gonna delete that because I never look at it. HelloFresh, I only downloaded it because they had recipe ideas in there without me actually buying anything. I just go to the explore page where I look at a bunch of different recipe ideas that I could potentially make myself. Let's see, ooh, turkey pagoli bowls, that looks good. 
See, look, they literally tell you what the ingredients are, and then it literally tells you exactly how to cook the meal. Now, even though I have this app, and this is a great convenience, instead of like buying cooking books and stuff, I never use it. I've never made any of these HelloFresh recipes, so I don't know why I even bother, but it's nice to have. Then I have Ulta Shopkicks student, is this student B? What is this? Oh, why is it downloading? I don't know. Must be another student discount app. And then I have Airy, Sephora, MGM Rewards, which is part of the Beauvage Biloxi Gambling Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. Victoria's Secret, Kohl's, Ticketmaster, Bed Bath Beyond, Michael's, Crocs, Nike, My Bath and Body Works, Box Lunch, Eventbrite, and Best Buy. And as you can see, I tagged it nurse splurging for a reason because I can do a lot of shopping on all these apps, which I don't do. I mainly use it just to look at what the sales are and what the options are. And then I go in person to see what I can get. Cause I actually like to try on clothes now so to make sure they actually fit my body. Next is more smart stuff. And so this is where I have navigate. Honestly, I can delete that. That's for school where you book appointments with your advisors. I'm not in school anymore. Canvas student. Okay, I'm still, I still have access to my clinical rotations. I miss, I think they said I have access until December because I should have passed my exam by December is what they said. So yeah, all that's gonna go away in December. Handshake, I'm gonna delete handshake because that's just for me to find a job. But guess what? I already have a job. If you don't know that, then you obviously missed out on my last video because I already uploaded a video of my first day of work. So make sure you check that out. I am leaks. This is where I can book group fitness classes. Delete, um, LinkedIn, help me find more jobs. I'm gonna delete that. Bookshelf. I don't know why I have bookshelf. Let's delete that. Let's delete zip recruiter. Cause I have a job. Cell Atlas. This is a very nice app actually where it helps with your red blood cell and white cell knowledge. So it has the cells, the descriptions and the photos of what they look like. These photos are not to a T exactly what these cells look like. It's just a general idea. And so let's go to monocytes. Monocytes. So it's got the vacuoles in it. That's how you are more likely to identify as a monocyte. It's got kidney shaped nucleus. Oh, you can tell it's right here. I'll just sell them. Often kidney shaped the nucleus. It is a nucleus. I was right. Okay. It is a kidney shaped nucleus. So that is why we have this app and we keep it so that way I know how to do my job. Okay. Next app. Oh, that's it. Oh, I think we should delete everything. Okay. Next is rich people thing. So I have stocks tracker, Yahoo Finance, Receipt Box, and my Sun Pass. I don't know why Sun Pass is there. That should go into my travel. Yeah, Sun Pass should go into travel. Let's move that to travel really quick. Okay. Already rich people things. Stock tracker, Yahoo Finance receipt box, and stocks tracker is where I just keep track of all the stocks that I am interested in investing in, but have not. So I just look at how they're doing from day to day. And then I do also keep track of the stocks that I am in with the stocks tracker, but it's not very accurate though, because I've been investing for a couple of years now and it doesn't exactly show you exactly how much you've gained or lost over the years. So it's only tracking the stocks that I bought years ago when I first started. And then anything that I've bought into since then is not in this app. So I really only mainly use it to know how much the stocks are that day and whether the market is up or down. That's pretty much it. Yahoo Finance, I don't know why I have that. It's probably also another stocks tracking thing if I wanna look it up in Yahoo Finance is dead instead of my stocks tracker. And the receipt box is where I keep track of all of my spending. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna blur out how much I spent already, but it is it is a lot. But pretty much this app is really great. It is on Apple products, it's not on Android products because Jamie has an Android or a Samsung phone and he is not able to download the app. So we have the option for me to see every single month of what I have spent. And I started using this app. Let's see, when was the first month I used this app? Oh. Oh man, I've been using this a long time. Okay, so I started tracking my spending in January of 2021. I will let you see how much I spent that month. So I spent a total of $1,101 that month, 300 for pets. Oh, that must've been for my dog. We got my dog neutered that month. That's what it was. I paid for my dog's surgery. Fun. Okay, I don't know what I spent because I didn't put any notes of what I spent, but I apparently it was $230 worth of fun. Yeah, okay, so back then I didn't put any notes of what I spent. So 229 on education, that was the beginning of the semester and that's when I start like buying school supplies, books, any kind of thing that they tell me to buy. $91 on eating out. Okay, no notes there. $73 in gas. Okay, I got a haircut that month. I bought clothes twice. Yeah, 
Okay, but well, anyway, that is receipt box. So I keep track of my spending and I put notes in to say what I've spent so far. Okay, let's go to the next folder and that is the better tab where I have Apple Podcasts and the gym that I currently go to. And I guess I labeled it better because for podcasts, I listened to this one lady, Tanya Lee. She is the host of the School of Self Image and I started listening to her about two years ago and she just gives a lot of great tips for women that want to live life very elegantly and sophisticatedly while also enjoying themselves. So just like holding yourself to high standards. I don't know if that's how she wants to be described, but that is how I take it. And it's it's a very empowering podcast. Mindful Pleasure, Prime Video, Cappuccino, and Countdown. Mm. Prime Video, I don't know if I have a membership anymore, but I kept the app. Cappuccino, a couple of my friends started to do cappuccinos where we would send each other like voice podcasts or whatever, but that has since died. And then I also did it with Jamie where I would send him a cappuccino every single morning so we could listen to it on his way to work. But we have finished doing that. And then my Countdown app, the heck? It's already happened. It's been 200 days since I went to that. Oh man. Oh, okay. Here's Jamie and I's three year anniversary. Already happened. Jamie's birthday. Already happened. Christmas day. Already happened. Oh, I'm going backwards. Wait. Okay, apparently we are 60 days away from New Year's Day, so that's cool. Exciting. Alrighty, we are 53 days away from Christmas. Okay, I'm done with this app. It's just, it keeps giving me ads. Anyway, okay, so next one is <laughs> your board. Where did I even come up with these names? My goodness. So this is my Wind Creek apps. And so I do have a vlog of where Jamie and I went to Wind Creek to redeem either our free play or for him to figure out if you won the jackpot or like a raffle. I think it was a raffle. We came for the raffle, but then I also happened to have free play. So we just did both. So Casinoverse is the updated Wind Creek app. And then the Wind Creek app is the old one, the second one. So I use the old Wind Creek app to do the daily wheel spin. And then Casinoverse, I don't really use Casinoverse, but they want you to use Casinoverse. Okay, but that's pretty much how I get all of my free play to go to Wind Creek. So Anytime we go to Wind Creek, I am always playing with free play, not my actual money. Then the next tab, the most exciting tab is travel. So I have my Park Pensacola app and I use this app to obviously pay for parking like in downtown, something like that. My Disney World app. We recently just came back from a Disney World trip and that's what I was using that app for. Carnival Hub. I also went on a carnival cruise back in May. So that's why I have that app. Norwegian. I am planning to go on a cruise with Norwegian in a couple of years not anytime soon in a couple of years so i have the apps i use it to browse like how much the cruise that i want to go on is going to be so that way i have a good idea of how much i need to save for it expedia i downloaded it just because i want to see things to plan but i never actually use it then sun pass in florida we have tolls and so the sun pass gives me a discount at all the tolls and i can just drive through it and i don't have to worry about giving them coins or nothing and then i have citric travel my uncle recommended that i use this to plan out trips and i did not use it and then buyer is where i booked all of my events when I was in Europe. So whenever we did the, the river cruise in Paris, I booked it through there. The top of Europe tour, I booked it through there. The Belgium chocolate making in Brussels, I booked it through there. A lot of my events, I booked it through Viator. And then I don't know what to get your ad is, so I'm gonna delete that. So I obviously never used it. Booking.com, I haven't used it very much, but I did use it to look at hotel prices and areas. And then I believe whenever we book hotels, we go directly to the hotel site. And then Jamie and I used to go to Universal's a lot down in Orlando. And so that's why I have that app, but sadly we don't go anymore. Passport is another parking app. I use that in Destin a lot whenever we go to the Harbor Walk by the Emerald Grand Hotel or condos. And then I actually also used it when we were in St. Augustine, Grace and I, and we used it to park in downtown St. Augustine. I have flown Delta and American Airlines, but I mostly fly Delta. And then Host Healthcare is a travel agency for healthcare workers. And this is going to be a couple of years down the line, but I do want to try being a travel med tech one day. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but right now I'm just trying to get all the experience that I can. And so host healthcare will most likely be the agency that I decide to do travel med tech with. That's all my travel apps. And then next is content creation. So I have my link tree, my notion, my cap, cap cut. What do I use cap cut for? I probably saw some other creator use it. So I downloaded it in case I need it. Lightroom, I have no idea how to filter my photos or videos or nothing, but I have Lightroom in case I feel like like learning. Don't know what freeform is. Same thing in Visco. I don't know how to filter or edit my photos to make them look better. And then Pixar. I saw another creator use Pixar for thumbnails. So I downloaded it in case I need it. Have not used it since I downloaded it. And then if we swipe over, I just have my traps, which is YouTube, YouTube Studio, and Circle. I only downloaded Circle because I joined the Think Media Circle thing where they would give us like a thousand subscriber challenge
cringe content, whatever. So I literally downloaded the app like a week ago and I barely use it. Um, So I'm probably gonna delete that. And that is my phone. Then if we scroll over to the left, you can see my photos at the top, the date, the battery life of this phone. I have a three hour and 44 minute screen time on my phone today, which isn't that bad. It's, it's three o'clock right now. It's only three hours. It's pretty good. And then you can see what apps I've used the most today. And they, they check out because I use Facebook Messenger, talk to Jamie while he's at work, YouTube, obviously Safari. I expand Drive because I transferred a video to my laptop today, YouTube Studio and Messages. That is all. Alrighty. Did that save? Oh my gosh. No, you're lying. <laughs> Okay, so I closed off my phone literally right after I finished screen recording my phone because I thought I was gonna turn off and just save on its own. But then the notification didn't show up saying that it was gonna save to my photos. So I turned on my phone and I went to my photos and literally the past 30 minutes of me talking did not show up, but it's there. Here is my screen recording. So we're good. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that was kind of insightful of what I do with my phone. As you saw, I literally have no games on there. And the reason why I keep as much of my apps as possible on the front screen is because I don't want to have to like scroll through every single page to look for it. And so obviously my YouTube studio, YouTube app and the circle and my work apps are the exception just because it's only two folders. So that's not really a big of a deal, but I'm actually gonna reorganize this. Let me reorganize this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna reorganize this and make it to where I can fit all of my folders on one page again. Oh my gosh, the important thing. Oh, I didn't show you what my home screen was. Alrighty, so my home screen is actually a picture that I took when I went to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii in 2019 and we did this little hiking trail. It starts with a W, it's like something valley. But anyway, that's the hike we went on and this was just one of the prettiest views I've ever seen. And honestly, it looks pretty good in the photo, but I do remember I heavily edited this photo to make it look better. I don't have the original photo anymore, so I keep this as my home screen for always, for Ever. And I don't know. I think I did pretty good taking this photo. It's just naturey. I love green and it just feels so free. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was insightful of what I do with my life. No games. I don't play games on my phone. Literally all of my time is either on YouTube, the Wind Creek app, or talking to Jamie. So if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe so you can get more content like this, and then maybe turn on the push notifications so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And comment down below what model phone you have. I iPhone, Samsung, which version, which year. Tell me about your phone. What do you have? All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.